Hey there loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys our easy date night movie night setup along with a few of the snacks that we always reach for that are easy and stress free. So if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. First, we're going to be starting off with our popcorn. The ingredients are butter, popcorn, of course, and some Parmesan cheese. Some extra items or ingredients you can use is some salt and black pepper. Tonight, we're not gonna be using that because we have a few salty items on our charcuterie board and we just want to not overdo it with the salt. So I am gonna be starting off with the butter, but you can definitely start off with the oil first. This recipe usually starts off with oil, but like I said, I simplified this recipe because I just felt like the other steps were not needed. So I'm just gonna take a few handful of my popcorn and throw it in there because y'all know popcorn multiplies like I don't know what. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw that inside there and leave it open and just let it start popping and then when I hear it start to slow down I'm going to take it off the burner because you guys know that these electrical stoves and these burners stay hot for a long time and I don't want to burn my popcorn so I'm going to go in directly with my Parmesan cheese but if you guys used oil you want to go ahead and heat up your butter in the microwave you can tell it's nice and warm then you want to throw that over the popcorn and then add your Parmesan cheese along with your salt and black pepper like I said we have a few salty items on our charcuterie board tonight so we're not going to be using any of that salt The next item on the list is some fruit ice cubes. Now, this is just for aesthetics. You can definitely skip this step if you want to, but I just feel that it just it just sets the vibe, it sets the mood. So I'm going to be cutting up some fruit for my ice tray, and I'm going to cut them up really small because my ice tray is very small. Of course, you can use whatever fruits you want. I'm going to be using some frozen mango and raspberry pieces, but of course you can use strawberries, kiwi, oranges, even some mint leaves. Mint leaves would be perfect for your ice cubes. It just gives it a pop of greenery that just is beautiful and it flavors the drink really really nicely so i'm just going to cut those up really small but i am going to go on amazon to find me some beautifully large aesthetically looking ice cube trays you know so i could get for the girlies <laughs> so i'm just going to fill my tray with my fruit and then i'm going to top that off with some water of course you can top it off with a clear juice or even coconut water that would be perfect especially for this recipe that i'm going to show you guys so i'm just going to top that off and put it in the freezer and let that harden until we're ready for it For our cocktail, I really want to rim the glasses because we are making a tropical kind of cocktail. So I am going to pour the coconut flakes into one of the plates and then we're going to mix up our adhesive which is going to be some powdered sugar and a little bit of water. So I'm just going to add in a little at a time until I get the consistency that I desire. And just go ahead and mix that up and it's very easy and very simple and it tastes really really nice as well. Now 
Now that our adhesive is ready, I'm just going to take the rim of the glass and just dip that inside of that plate. Make sure that the drippings are off because you don't want it to slide down the glass. You just need enough on it for the coconut flakes to stick. And I'm just going to add the coconut flakes to the rim and then I'm going to also put this in the fridge so that that adhesive can cure or set. For our cocktail mix, I'm going to be using this mango rum and y'all this is so delicious it's like a mango and coconut kind of flavor it's really really nice if you guys don't know how to use certain beverages just go online and google it or go on pinterest and google that rum that you bought and you will find a plethora of recipes trust me so for my recipe i'm going to be using that mango rum with some orange juice i didn't measure how much juice i used i just poured and then tasted it and then when i felt that i needed a little more juice or a little more alcohol i just went in and added those because this is a mango rum y'all when you ever see a fruit on a rum that's the fruit juice that you should use in the rum <laughs> so i'm going to be using some mango juice as well as some pineapple juice because pineapple in anything tropical just goes great together and of course if you're using pineapple juice you know that coconut water or coconut milk is a definite must for that combination it just goes together okay come on pina colada <laughs> so i'm just going to be using coconut water because i don't want it too milky but you can definitely substitute that for coconut milk now i didn't add any ice but i am going to add my ice later on down when we are ready for our cocktail mix and now it is time to put our charcuterie board or our snack board together so i'm just going to start by adding that popcorn into my bowl of course you can place the popcorn directly on your charcuterie board if you want to i just wanted to avoid a little bit of cleanup so i just added it to a bowl but adding it directly to the charcuterie board is okay as well so I just went ahead and snacked on those little ones to drop because it was just yummy and I couldn't throw those away. Hello. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and add a smaller bowl there. For this bigger bowl, I'm just going to be mixing up my cheese mix because I do buy the pre-mixed cheese mix when we're making nachos and I like to flavor it for whatever flavor I desire. Sometimes I use the garlic powder what i'm using now and some chili flakes or sometimes i go in with the onion powder it definitely depends on our mood but seasoning your pre-mix cheese mix is a definite must it just takes it to a whole nother level so i'm just going to add a little bit of butter just to help it to you know stay creamy you can add milk if you don't want to add butter but i prefer to add butter to it and then i'm just going to put it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds until the cheese is nice and melted and then we're going to add it to our little bowl and just look at the consistency so much smoother and then i'm going to go in and add our nachos or our tortilla chips to the board and of course you can put this on another plate if you want to i just add it directly to the board because i'm trying to fill this board up as much as possible i'm not going to be using too many snacks because like i said it's only for hubby and i and we didn't even finish all of this it was just too much for the two of us and of course with everything salty you have to add something sweet so i added some chocolate covered macadamians my favorite just delicious and of course i'm going to add some pretzels because they can also go really really well with the cheese dip so if you don't want the tortilla chips you can use the pretzel with the cheese dip mm, perfect all goes together well and of course for some more sweet options i'm going to be adding some gummies to our tray and we also have some ice cream but i'm going to add that a little later because you don't want the ice cream to melt so we're going to get our cocktail together now and those beautiful fruit ice that we made earlier we're going to add those to our cup and as you guys can see 
our coconut rim is nice and firm so that won't be falling off or sliding down anytime soon <laughs> and there you have it our cocktail mix and now it's time to set up the ambience or the space I'm just going to go ahead and push our table out of the way because you do want a nice little open area where you can just relax and kick back and then I'm going to put down some of our duvet inserts that we're you know not using and I'm going to just throw those down it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just going to throw those and layer them on top of each other until I feel like I have enough down for some comfort I also went in with a few of our quilts because I just needed that added comfort. You want to make the floor as comfortable as you possibly can. If you have a lot of pillows and cushions, definitely put those down first and then cover them up with your throws and stuff. Or if you guys have a downstairs bedroom, you can definitely go ahead and add your mattress from your bed to the floor. You can drag that out of the bedroom and put that down on the floor. That would definitely be a lot more comfortable so I'm just going to throw down our quilts and then I'm going to go in with our pillows like I said this does not have to be perfect you just want a nice little setup where you can lay out and lounge out and feel comfortable while watching your movie I just went in and added a few pillows and cushions for us to lean up against because like I said, this is all about being comfortable on the floor, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect, just throw them there, any kind of how. And you can go in and add some lighting if you want, but I like to watch my movie in the dark, so <laughs> I did not go ahead and light any candles, but you can definitely do that. And here's our little setup. It was just so nice and cozy and romantic. We enjoyed a few movies. We watched a few movies that we did not see, that we did not get to see on Netflix. And like I say, it was all a vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what you guys think. Also, if you have not subscribed this yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would definitely appreciate it and I will see y'all in my next video. So until then, tschüss.